So the western bumblebee um, has a very large distribution. It covers the whole uni western United States. And over the last decade, we've seen a precipitous decline, especially uh, west uh, of the Cascade Range. Western bumblebee is a generalist pollinator. And they will pollinate a lot of different species, and both by visiting the flowers to feed, and then also as they take off and land, um, their bigger body creates kind of like a uh, buzzing on the flower that's gonna spread more of the pollen more effectively. Um, so they're a really important pollinator in ecosystems uh, here in the West. Pollinators are important because we need pollinators for flowering plants. Plants need pollinators to grow and to reproduce. There's something over 80% of the foods that we consume are a result of animals pollinating plants. And so if we didn't have pollinators, we would not have a lot of our plants. And what's interesting about uh, the western bumblebee is that, you know, it really used to be one of the most widespread species in the western United States, and now it's incredibly um, rare. We've been doing bumblebee surveys for a few years now, documenting all the different species. And we have only recorded western bumblebee at two sites in Olympic National Forest. And when we did see it, we would only see one or two in one site, so they're quite rare. There are a lot of um, historic records, records of people observing them that goes back to early 1900s even. And with these recent surveys indicate that they have declined in the forest because we have only found them in two places. So we're doing a lot of seeding of native plant species and planting plants in areas such as um, timber harvest areas and along um, closed roads to provide uh, flowering plants for western bumblebees and other bumblebees. So we're going in after these um, areas are harvested and um, planting things like um, goldenrod or uh, pearly everlasting or some of the um, flowers that we know that are particularly beneficial to pollinators. Um, and that's part of um, sort of a multi-species uh, habitat enhancement that we do. Weed management for sure is crucial for helping pollinators because we want to maintain that, um, that native ecosystem that they have evolved and adapted to. Um, sometimes if you just let the weeds go, it can displace native species that perhaps a particular pollinator might depend on. So we have to be really careful to manage the weeds to prevent that from happening. Another thing that we are doing is we, we've been doing bumblebee surveys so that we can find out where western bumblebees are on the forest and other bum bumblebee species, their distribution, and what plants are they using? What kind of habitat do they use? So that we have that information in order to manage for their habitat. So, so looking ahead um, to what the future holds for the Western bumblebee, we are hopeful with these collaborative conservation efforts with multiple agencies, citizen scientists who are working diligently to really understand the ecology distribution abundance uh, and the threat factors, um, we are hoping uh, in the future that we can um, stave off the decline and, and conserve the species.